here at PRI for 2012 and we've stopped by the Federal Mogul booth to find out a little bit about Felpro head gaskets. I'm here with Ron Rotuno to find out all about it, mate. Head gaskets have been around for a very long time and there's been a lot of technology that's gone into it. Take us through some of the history of the head gaskets. Um, you're, you're right, they have been around for as long as the internal combustion engine's been around. Um, we employ a number of different technologies for high performance uh, cylinder head gasket applications. One of the original types of uh, technology that we employed was a copper shim that was just used on flathead ports, primarily things like that. We moved from that to a, a single layer embossed steel and from there we went to a composite gasket with a wire ring combustion seal. Or well, the latest iteration, uh, which we use in NASCAR and NHRA and IHRA and kind of you name it, um, is a multi-layered steel technology. And MLS uh, is, a, is a gasket technology that's very well suited to high performance engines. As an engine runs and produces power, uh, it tends to want to push the cylinder head up off the deck of the block. An MLS head gasket is four layers of full hard stainless steel, three of which are embossed. Um, that kind of act as a spring and as the head moves, uh, they follow the head and maintain the contact pressure between the head and block to seal the combustion. Um, that's uh, a very robust technology. There's some things that we do in our MLS that uh, kind of set us apart from some of the uh, other pr products that are out there. Um, mostly uh, technologies that we've proven in NASCAR that we've, uh, we've brought to the rest of the performance line. Uh, as well as our passenger car lineup as well. What kind of applications are these gaskets good for? Um, anything from a purpose-built uh, drag race engine like a DRCE or a Hemi 2000 Pro Stock drag race engine uh, to Chevy small block, Chevy big block, Ford small block, um, NASCAR engines, uh, boat offshore boat racing engines. So really a pretty wide variety, um, including some of the imports. Uh, we have some Honda applications, Mitsubishi applications, uh, as well as some Subaru stuff. And how much technology has gone into creating these MLS head gaskets? Well, probably more than most people think. Um, in order to design a, a proper MLS head gasket, you really need to know what dynamics are going on within the engine. You want to know where the head lift is. Um, so once we determine where the head is lifting the most, we can apply some of our technology to make sure that we apply more sealing pressure to those areas. Uh, because as the head does lift, uh, you sort of open yourself up to combustion leakage and, uh, and you know, that's where an MLS head gasket really comes in handy. It's because we can follow that head lift. But the main thing is knowing what you're dealing with, so know about what the engine characteristics are, and then building the part uh, with production steel tools so they're very consistent. Uh, the consistency is the name of the game when it comes to MLS. Uh, so the embossed speeds that we employ around the combustion openings, et cetera, really important that they are manufactured just the way they're designed. Uh, we also use what's called a laser welded stopper layer. Um, that's a puck that we laser weld to the shim layer, which is the middle layer, so to speak, of the gasket. Uh, we laser weld the, uh, the puck, we blank through it, and what you end up with is a sealing ring that runs around the combustion opening. That sealing ring serves a couple of different purposes. Uh, one, it, it applies uh, some additional uh, uh, load around the combustion opening. Two, it acts as a positive stop um, for the uh, embossed layers. If you think of the embossed layers as a spring, you only want to compress the spring so far. Um, so what the uh, laser welded stopper layer does is it provides a positive stop so you don't over compress that spring because you want that spring to last the life of the engine. It needs to be able to recover or, or make that contact with the head and the block throughout its, its, uh, its, its use. And uh, part of the way that we are able to do that is with that stopper layer. Wow, very informative. I've got to say, if you're like me and you don't really know all that much about head gaskets, it seems like there's an awful lot to learn. And you can learn all about these MLS head gaskets from Felpro at felproonly.com.